What's up, you guys? I'm Philly Sophical. This is my channel. So, they want me to tell you they say electricity irrelevant. They want me to let you guys know because you know how I always update you guys on what's working for me, what doesn't, what I pick up, what I find out as far as just um, because. I'm I'm an empathic woman that's sensitive to energy around me. I'm sensitive to people around me, but more so than anything, I'm sensitive to the electronics. And I think that there's a lot of you that are as well. Since I've been wearing this bracelet and I put these, I put one of these things in my bra. Where the hell did it go? One of these copper things I told you guys that I got, right? It's these are there's four of them like this. It was like a hundred bucks for four of them. Since I've had these things, I haven't had to play to scatter frequency consistently like I have. My hair has been falling out. It's almost not falling out at all. And I also started, my sleep is better. I have my fibromyalgia and my nerve pain is so much less because of it. Because they actually agitate that. These waves agitate that, I realize. And it, they induce pain. And, and mental torment. So since I've had this copper all over, it's been amazing. So I highly suggest that even if you guys can't afford those things, man, if you got copper anything, put it on you, right? It, you know, for some of you guys, hold on, excuse me, for some of you males, you may have copper in your house from like construction or something, right? Copper itself is great for that kind of stuff. Also, what I started adding into my smoothies every day is avocado chunks. Okay, you can't taste them. They don't change the taste. It's like a handful of them. They're chunked up frozen avocados. Amazing. My hair and my skin, I just feel different. So I'm sharing that with you guys. And another thing I want to say is this. You know how a lot of us that are awakened, we only watch certain channels. Those that are also awakened and tell truth. It feels like we all have a different area to expose but a lot of people at one time were saying, this is what they're planning. This is what they're planning, right? Wisdom. Look, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what they've been planning that's been bigger, which I kind of been talking about this on every one of my videos, but it's not an alien thing. It has nothing to do with other countries. This is why they, they focus on war with other countries. I can't even believe that people don't pick up on I get A lot of people do, but I guess I don't understand how some people can't pick up on the fact that they seem to want us to focus more on what's happening everywhere else except for right here in our own country. Because what has been happening in our own country is fucking scary. You know, I talk about how they're replacing the judicial system with traffickers and illegal immigrants because they want this trafficking ring to be worldwide. And it is on a certain level. I'm, I'm worried about right here for right now. And I want to say this because I know that there's even cartels that watch my channel. And I know that we, we don't mess with each other. I don't feel like we do. Because I have a respect for you guys. I'm not one of them stupid people that just ignorant and just calls people out that I know could kill me in a second. But what I want to tell you guys is. There's a different type of life form, and I feel like a lot of you guys know this by now. I'm talking to cartels that watch my channel. Right. Thank you. There's another force at play here that is not human, that doesn't like you guys either. And they love the fact that you and people like, well, not like me. I don't feel like I have any beef with you guys. But you know what I mean. They want you to cause harm and chaos and violence and murder and destruction. If one of your children or grandchildren were in a... a a place or you needed an address or who did it I'd be the first one you can come to if it was you that somebody kidnapped you as a cartel member or, or put you away or framed you for for something you didn't do and that shit came out here it's gonna come out so I just want everybody whether you know you've done good things in your life or not okay we've all done shit just think about the bigger picture here is all I want you guys to do okay because there are so many people now coming together and I know that they know it. I know they know it, man. And they're getting real scared and they should be real scared because, and this is with any type of governmental entity who likes to have nothing but control. It doesn't matter what country you're in. You guys are stronger than them. The entire country, I mean, four or five, six, you guys are stronger than the government entity and they know this. 
this is why they separate you and they can then they divide and conquer. This isn't just us, right, clown? <coughs> oh, thank you. And this is no disrespect to Biden, but when they put clown up there, you're the first person I thought of. And it's not because I think you're a clown. It's because I realize now that Obama is actually the president. He always has been since he's been in office. Has Obama, tell me the truth, has Obama ever left office technically? No. Tell me the truth. Is President Biden just a puppet to do the dirty work? Was he used to get Trump out of office? Yes. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Well, I'm not going to ask that question because I feel like we all know that uh, Obama should be arrested. Okay. Now, I know that Joe Biden and whatever corruption, I know they talk about this. They're not really as corrupt as they're, they're coming off. There's always other people behind the scenes that don't want to be seen for who they are. So they use people to distract. Okay. And they use people to do their dirty work. It's the same thing in a narcissistic family dynamic. You have that one person that causes all the problems between the family members that gets to throw the rock and hide their hand because they got good at it, right? They got real good at it. It's like, it's like magic. Next thing you know, the whole family is coming against the scapegoat, right? And then really, it's usually at, at least one person's fault that the family is, is getting destroyed, but everybody blames it on the scapegoat. Everybody blames it on... The one who's making bad decisions, right? But the only one that appears to be the only one making bad decisions. So it's the same thing in the government entities. It's a throw a rock and hide your hand. It's the I'm going to use puppets so that I can hypnotize the masses and let them believe what we want them to believe. It's the same shit with your family. It's the same. Not all of your family is right. Because when I say it's like your family, I feel like my family members get insulted and stuff. Because you think every time I say something about families, I'm talking about you guys. There are so many people who had problems with their families, okay? And even you guys have. So I just need you to stop taking things so personal because this shit is bigger than just narcissistic families to me, all right? To me, that just kind of sets a preface for what goes on in other places of the world because it's bullying, it's scapegoating, um, it's using puppets and flying monkeys to do dirty work. So this is why I talk about that shit, all right? Let's get into the message. Give me three three letters uh, for this, please. Like, I'm never going to stop doing, and there are other people, like, we just can't have that shit in our country, you know, and, and this isn't like, we want to go to war with people, we just can't have it anymore, like, we can't allow this to happen, and there's a lot of people now who are, are agreeing, in agreement with this, that somebody has to do something, right, it just as, as if with the cartels in whatever country you're in, the same shit, like, if somebody it came in, like, if Americans came there, and, and who knows, you probably do have this, that are on the run and shit, and then they come there and start killing your people, you can't have it, right, just, just can't have it, so let me get three letters here, we're wired as humans, when, when we have our awakening and realize how bad things are, we're wired as humans to want to fight, it's that fight or flight, right, I don't know flight, and so all I know is fight and there's other people waking up to this part of them that, that part of them is waking up like I have to fight too all right let me see what B K T is but I mean you know Philly love you if nobody told you today <sighs> definitely need to like start caring about each other more rebound rug I mean, that could be a message for somebody. Rebound rug and hoodie gang. The hoodie gang is actually a terminology, <laughs> terminology used to talk about a man who's not circumcised. This came up yesterday, but I'm just going to skip that because I don't really feel like that, you know, is relevant here. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. BKT is best known time usually indicates the fastest something has ever been completed. So there could be like a record being broken. Okay. Let's find out what this is. What, what is this? The, a difference that's being made? What, what? I didn't even see what was popping up on here. Behalf and fund and difference. So somebody may want to fund something. There may be some people. There may be some people who have money and power that see what's going on here and they might, they might want to fund wherever it is that could be making a difference with this shit, right? All right, let me see what's up. What's up with cement? 
one. Or is that just to make something more concrete? I feel like there's people that have money and power that want to get involved. Alien. Concrete and alien. I think that also saying that people were so certain, like it was concrete, that's it, that whatever they were planning had something to do with aliens. And it was actually happening with aliens, illegal ones though, right? It's like, I know a lot of people, maybe if they're um, channelers and they were getting the word alien possibly, because I saw people with videos that channel that are gifted talking about aliens, otherworldly things, but it's actually the illegal aliens that are coming into our country that is the problem. All right, tell me about this fastest something has ever been completed. Oh, okay. I mean, this is putting an end to karmic energy. That, that karmic female energy, though. That conniving, because we talk about the toxic male energy, but there's a toxic female energy as well of just like manipulation, um, being real uh, slimy and grimy. and So tell me about this. There could be dudes too that are putting an end to dealing with, um, yeah, this is amazing. First off, there's a Sagittarius karmic female. Um, and uh, this could just be the karmic female energy that's jealous of women, okay? But I feel like what this is saying, am I wrong about what this is saying? There's a lot of dudes now that want to, this could be the rabbit hole, what they're saying with rabbit. But I also know that there's a friend of mine that's name was rabbit um, that passed away that came through the other day. Is that you? Yeah, thank you. But uh, there's a lot of men now that are putting an end to dealing with karmic females, realizing that, you know, I may have to jump on board. Like, I may have to start protecting my family, my children, my grandchildren, other people's kids. There's just a lot of dudes now that are like, I don't even know if I want a relationship, damn it. You know, like, I'm tired of fighting with these bitches. All they keep doing is separating me from what I'm really supposed to do. So that's amazing. They want to find balance in their life. Yeah, they're having an awakening. So there's a lot of males waking up to the fact that there are a lot of women that just secretly have daddy issues that like to keep them stuck or just like to attack them. Well, that's great because we need the men. We need the men to protect now. Uncontrollable. There could be some people that at one point were uncontrollable. I feel like somebody's seeing at this point, though, that how uncontrollable, how out of control the situation got in our country. This is what I feel like it is, okay? And for those of you who watch me from other countries, I know you guys got the same shit going on if you have a government entity. They forgot that they were created to serve the people. Well, they didn't forget, but they, they manipulated shit over time to try to take our freedom and our power away from us and that's not going to happen it won't happen some of your family is even waking up to this okay so you know i just feel let me find out what the nominee i want to see something okay all right that could mean something for you but for me this is what this means people are realizing there are people who have that warrior spirit that are waking up. And when you have that and you realize that you're needed, you don't care about relationships anymore. You know, your whole life is now focused on making a change. Like you can't go back. You can't stop it. You're going to have people try and stop you. And those people either can hop on board and realize, shit, I'm on the wrong goddamn side here. Because now look how this land is split in two. I never realized that before, how it looks like there's a split, right? And is that supposed to be like the sunshine and whatever? I just feel like people are realizing that we become split as like people, right? People search for that bait. Follows you when you leave the house. All right, let me find out who this is. I'm going to get names on both sides, who they're following, and I'm going to get a name for who's following. Stay tuned. All right, for someone specific, Justin Mifflin is following someone named Kelly. Whoever Kelly is, somebody's this this person is following her. This person could be like a target now. Whoever this this female is. Tell me about this follow you when you leave the house. 
Yeah, I don't know. Did you, were you dating this person or something? Why is this nine of swords here? Uh, first of all, somebody, somebody delusional. Like somebody's not sleeping well. I don't know if you used to date this person or or what, or you could have found out that they were, or you knew something about somebody as well. Outside, somebody waits outside for you, mad that people love you. Is this Kelly? What is this outside and tablespoon? Does this person shoot up? Okay. Okay. And you don't mess with perfection. All right. So I'm guessing the female in this situation is like perfection and he must have not appreciated her. This person treated this female like an option. Okay. And I feel like she knows it or somebody knows their worth or somebody's like, damn it. I, I found too many tablespoons, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Somebody may not know that they're shooting up, but somebody, does somebody sit outside of somebody's home with like a tablespoon, like shooting up and stuff? Yeah. Okay. And I feel like this female had some kind of like aha moment where it's like, I'm done, bitch. Okay. And somebody is handling this very, very badly. Yours. Maybe did somebody say who's your house? Somebody could have like thought to themselves, like whose house? Yours. Okay. What is this? You're one of my favorite people to sit in silence next to while looking at my phone. So that's what it was. This person can't give anything. This is the type of person where it does. I'm, and this is a male, but women, we all do this, right? All, both genders do this where I love you and I'll say whatever it is I need to get you in my life. And then once I feel like I have you now, I don't talk to you because it's just a game. You know, I don't have the ability to love because I'm, I'm broken by something. And then this is that person where you're out to dinner, they're looking at their phone, right? Like you don't, you clearly don't want to be with me because you never talk to me. You don't look at me. You're on your phone. So now I'm giving you to your phone and I'm releasing you, you know, with love because it doesn't feel like somebody was rude about it. It feels like somebody just kind of had to, you know, you can go your own way. And somebody did. And now somebody's like, what the fuck? And did it, did it. Hold on a second. All right. Yep. So now what? Somebody's stressed out now because they treated you like an option when they know. Yeah, that's yes. And now somebody is like, you know, I'm, I'm going to put all this into myself. Because I realize that these are the types of people I've been attracting and I can't do this shit anymore. Hold on a second. Tell me more about this situation, please. Tell me more about this situation. Somebody's very gifted, all right? Yeah, artist and beggar. Somebody's a con artist and somebody realizes that. Like, you know, where would you be without me? Maybe this person's always begging for something. Like, I'm tired of you begging for me to come back. Or even if this is a friendship, I'm tired of you begging and promising shit. And then it goes right back. So for somebody, it may make more sense that this person is actually shooting up. It may actually like be like, oh, okay, right? Like, now I see why it got to this point. Yeah, because someone is an empath, right? And then the other person is a narcissist, so. And this is always the outcome. This person doesn't realize how they burn bridges with people, you know? Like, you can't burn bridges with everybody and then expect to get to the other side, bitch. You know what I mean? There's no such thing as invisible bridges, damn it. I'm hella in my bag, right? That's how the female is, okay? Okay. It sounds like somebody changed and someone's like, I don't even know how to, how do I even talk to you anymore, right? Guide, somebody is realizing, somebody could be like a guide for other people. You were the, you are the only, you're the reason why you're at, right? So this, this person needs to understand this, right? You're the reason. This person is very good at getting themselves back into this girl's life. And I feel like this person, it just became a very good manipulator and he can't, manipulate this female anymore and it's like freaking them out on top of having a bad addiction it's freaking them out like what do you mean i can't manipulate you anymore jealous sister you have a jealous sister as well tell me about this jealous sister this person could could even have caused problems between you and your sister or for somebody they could have even hooked up with your sister 
Tell me about this jealous sister. Huh? They watch you. What's his page of swords? What is this? Clarify this. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe you don't talk to her anymore either. Is your sister pissed off? It feels like somebody's changing or somebody's realizing like just how great of a person they are. And there could have, there's at least one sister who like liked it better when you were down or something, right? Tell me about this. This person doesn't have, yeah, very jealous, very jealous. Let me, is this sister have something to do with something that they're planning? Yeah. Okay. They're following you to try to kidnap you, okay? And your sister is also involved in this. Tell me about the sister. Tell me about the sister. Tell me the Your sister could be named Terry or Teresa, K or E. That could mean something. It could be your sister, Kelly. It could be named Terry, whatever it is. Um, a lot of jealousy. So my, I don't know if you use a pendulum, but you should start. Okay. Don't hang around any of these people. They trying to kidnap your ass feels like trafficking don't give up i just heard all right so i don't know what's going on in your life but they're just saying like don't give up right no goals clearly so your sister has no goals i mean you could have even like just let go of your goals and shit your mother oh god I can't. tell me your sister and your mother are involved you know when i tell you i would be more surprised if they weren't involved just because of my own personal experience so this is another like join the club and just laugh the shit off because the, this just means that you've had a jealous sister and a jealous mother your whole life and you're just realizing how clear it is now right your mother's also involved just stay away from these bitches all right, that, that's the best advice Philly can give you, and I'm just going to keep it a stack. Stay away from these jealous ass bitches, okay? Uh, clearly, they need money. They don't like something about you. Laugh that shit off, right? Like, oh shit, now I'm going to sit there and think about all the arguments I've had and how it wasn't really me, you know? I mean, we don't just not ever take accountability, but I just feel like you're going to realize, oh shit, okay, this bitch is right. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this joint illuminati hello somebody wants to sacrifice you uh were you dating somebody or connected to people that want to get into the music industry but they're just not gifted <laughs> they're not talented no they're not gifted always boosting always shoplifted right like those types of people is someone disabled Somebody in this situation is. That's someone that you can trust. Oh, it feels like somebody is hanging with a group of people. And some of these people are those types of people that like to get into the music industry by sacrificing other people. Okay. That's a problem. You're not going to be able to do it to this one. Okay. Because if she's, if this is coming out here, then this person is either watching my channel or they're going to watch my channel and it's going to save their life. At your job, so there's even people at your job that are connected, or they were going to kidnap you from your job. A judge. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Michelle Williams. This person is actually a judge. All right. Tell me the is this one of those fake ones? No. No. But she's connected to traffickers. All right. Does she watch my channel? Tell me the truth. Does Michelle Williams watch my channel? Yeah, this is for you, bitch. There's a big fuck you for you, okay? Stay away from this female before Philly got to come after your ass because you know that I damn well will. And I got a whole army of people behind me, bitch. So you better step off of this female. They will now. Why are these all facing the wrong way? Yeah, this, this is... Let me find out. Is this for organ trafficking? It's so crazy that I talk about this shit so lightly. Like, it's just another day. Is somebody planning on selling this female's organs? The fuck they are not, though. 
Stay away from these people. Uh, isolate yourself, man. Start. What is all this? What is all this? St um, you're going to go through like a phase of, um, you know, just they call it the dark night of the soul, right? Because it's like you're by yourself. You start realizing nobody ever liked you because people love empaths when you can do shit for them. But they secretly fucking hate you. Your town, like people in your town are in, involved in this stuff. Or somebody's whole town could be infiltrated by fucking traffickers like the one that I'm in. But, you know, you're just going to go through some shit. But it's, it's going to be better. Out of state. I don't know if this person is from out of state. Oh, it's these people. Some of them, it's out of country, damn it. It got that bad. Let me get a never, ever, have I ever. This ain't for me. Yeah, these people aren't for you. Right? So, I don't know. Are you a fentanyl addict? Hmm? Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a place called Crossroads Treatment Center. You should look it up in your search bar. It's a 1-800 number. They have... Um, they have them all over the place, right? It's a Suboxone clinic that your government insurance pays for, and it costs a dollar to get your Suboxone out every month. If you're listening to this and you actually are around where I'm at, when you call and make this appointment, ask for the Feasterville store if you're around where I am. You happen to be listening to this around where I'm at, okay? Because their other one is Kensington, and I just, you know, make you want to stay sick going down there. So you need to get off this shit. I feel like that's why, because these types of people, they target people who are like down and out. They, the, these weak dudes pay attention to the fact that there's women that don't have like a, a strong male presence in their life. And that just makes you guys predators. That's what that does. Like it makes you guys a predator. Uh, some of you guys didn't realize that that's what you were turning into. And that's cool, right? Okay. But, and then there are some people that know they're a predator and they still do it. I'm going to destroy you. Yeah. I put my own life on that shit. Um, so tell me what else? So I'm less than 10 feet from a shark. Wow. Well, that's a message. All right. So you swimming with sharks, bitch. Okay. <laughs> you like the dolphin that's swimming with a bunch of sharks and you need to get out of the pool. Damn it. You need to get out of the, the shark tank, the narc tank. Um, you will, your whole life's going to change. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, intuitive, because I feel like you are very intuitive. You are extraterrestrial being and electronic harassment. Is somebody a target? It feels like somebody's being targeted. Hold on. They were going to as well. All right. So this is what somebody's going to learn. Like, what do you mean I'm a target, right? These people target people like you and like what I was, right? Because I was an addict too, and now I'm sober. But it's like they target certain people. Well, what happens is, like in my situation, the target winds up becoming the hunter now. You feel me? <laughs> and I'm just destroying motherfuckers on a daily with some other people, right? You flip the script on some people. That's what you're going to do. You're going to say, target, what? My nuts? I'm nobody's target. Because I have to say that that's okay. And you're going to get this overwhelming superhuman strength and, and drive that's going to fuck these people up, right? And some of them are going to get tired of coming for you. It's they're they're going to put everything they got into it. They're going to let their lives go, their hygiene go, their families and everything because in these people's minds, I don't lose, right? But when you're doing this stuff, you're just a loser at heart, okay? So you don't have to compete. They don't compare. You are super intuitive. I'm guessing that this female is has, um, hold on, does she have? Do you have RH negative blood too? You may not even know your blood type. You are half alien. Okay. And we seem to be the ones that these these people attack. It's not so much the people, it's they're a vessel. There's another type of entity that knows you in the spirit realm. Like you you know. They know you and they need to get to you and stop you. So how do they do it? They jump inside of people for the electronic harassment. Like I talked about in the beginning, copper, copper deflects that shit. So get some copper. Like they sell these and there's like spiritual stores, these copper bracelets. I would get you a few of them because, you know, they still may try to do this stuff. I'm just going to try and help you figure out a way to combat this shit, right? You stay to yourself. 
you don't retaliate because a lot of these people, like, they can't wait to get you locked up. They'll have dirty-ass cops involved. They sold their soul. Yeah. And these people have sold other people's organs, I feel like, is what they're telling me. Is that what you're telling me? Is that these people have sold other people's organs? Yeah. And I don't feel like it's your family members, but if they're ha having a hard time financially, just like some of my in, a few of my in, seem to be okay with benefiting off of my organs, bitch, okay? My organs are royal as well, motherfuckers, and they are not leaving my body unless I say so. So it's really all about just taking control of some shit, right? You didn't give me my life. You can't take it. We'll keep it real simple for you, right? Um, you didn't get me my job. You can't take it from me, right? You can't take me, bitch, okay? Who are you that you think you can just grip me up off the street and take me? That is shoplifting, bitch. Okay? No. These people are thieves at heart, and their DNA and their bloodline is nothing but thieves and murderers. You can't steal people, though, bitches. Right? I've proven that. So this is for you, women, someone in particular. Protect yourself. Stay away from these people. You can see it in somebody's eyes, damn it right? You know, it, it's because you're intuitive, right? So this means you haven't paid attention just like I wasn't either to what my body, your body was doing around certain people, right? When you're, when your body is trying to let you know, get away from somebody, you'll get a tummy ache, you'll get like heartburn, you know, your, your right ear, your ear may start ringing. It's, it's, it's ways that your ancestors around you make you feel uncomfortable. You'll feel sick. You'll just feel not right. Don't ever doubt that shit. Because that shit's going to save your life. Oh, and also, because I know I say this a lot, but I feel like this is for somebody that needs to hear this. Pay attention to the crows when you're around some people. If you start hearing them go crazy, you're around somebody that's no good or somebody outside or around you is no good. And that's it. You know, if you watch my channel, you know about my channel already. You're going to learn a lot of shit about this. So just protect yourself. Protect your life. I don't know if you have children. Do you have children? Does person have children? No. Maybe better to hold off and having children until this world gets a little cleaned the fuck up. You feel me? I love you. We're not going nowhere. Fill you out.